Hello and welcome. Today we will be talking about Milestones PM Plus, a fully customizable project management application that is 100% native to Salesforce. Now let's dive a little deeper into Milestones PM Plus. With the app installed in your Salesforce org, when you're on your Milestones PM Plus app, check out the Getting Started tab. There are a lot of really good resources here to help you throughout your journey with Milestones PM Plus. We've got an admin guide that's available that will tell you how to customize or fully set up or implement Milestones PM Plus, template training guides to help you with your templates, frequently asked questions, and some resources where you can go for help. We've got a chatter support group. You can contact us on our website or email us anytime. There are two versions of Milestones PM Plus, the free version and the premium edition. If you are interested in upgrading to the premium edition, there's a link here to do so. The main differences are the added features and functionality in the premium edition that are not included in the free version. We will be going through and identifying some of those features throughout our demo today. Along with being able to keep track of your projects, milestones, and project tasks with with Milestones PM Plus, we also include a programs object so that you can have a higher level view or organize a portfolio of your project. Some of our clients use programs for different business units. For instance, if the marketing team wanted to use projects for planning their events and then possibly human resources wanted to have projects for onboarding new employees, you can organize your projects that way or if you're doing several implementations for one particular client, you might want to have a program for that particular client, but it gives you a higher level view of the overall health of a group of related projects. Let's take a look at a program. The Milestones PM Plus objects sit right inside of Salesforce, which means you have the full ability to use Salesforce reporting as well as customize your page layouts. If you'd like to place charts, for example, on your pages, you can certainly do that very easily. Looking at the detail on a program, the Gantt chart will show you all of the related projects along with their milestones. You do have an option if you would like to show tasks at this level as well. Now let's take a look at one of the projects. With Milestones PM Plus, you have the ability to add your own custom fields to your project page layouts or use some of the cool fields that we've got included as part of the package. If you would like to add your own custom fields, click on Edit Object, Fields and Relationships, where you can add new fields. If you would like to edit your layout, click on your project layout, and you can see some of the fields we have available to you to use. Any of the fields that we've already created are named MPM4 base. One item to note, when you're using templates to create new projects, if you have Milestones PM Plus Free Edition, any of these fields that are MPM4 base will work perfectly with your templates. If you have created your own custom fields and you would like that information to pass back and forth with the export import process, that requires an upgrade to the Milestones PM Plus Premium Edition. Going back to our project, you can see some fields such as Gantt color. If you would like to customize the colors on your Gantt chart, simply paste in an HTML color code. If you've just finished creating this project and you would like to use it as a template going forward, click on Export Template. Let's take a look at the XML file. Now I want to edit the properties and move this to my Milestones folder. This project is now available for use as a template. If I wanted to import that template, I can go to Import Template select my Milestones PM folder and choose from the list of project templates that I've exported and click import. This creates a brand new project for me with my kickoff date as today. If you've just created this project from a template and find that you need to shift out your kickoff date, you can use the project configuration button. Select your new date, exclude weekend work if desired, and select save. Once the page has had time to refresh, you can see that your entire project has been shifted out for you. There are two buttons available above the Gantt chart. One is Manage Project Plan. This is a premium edition feature that allows you to edit multiple milestones and tasks all in one place. Add any notes that you might need, designate tasks as internal. Once you finish making all your edits and you click the Update Project button, all of the individual milestones and tasks will be updated in addition to the project. The Print Gantt Chart button is also a premium edition feature. Once you click Print Gantt, you have options if you would like to show all your tasks or just external because you may not need to show your client all of your internal tasks. You also have options how you would like your Gantt chart to appear when you print. You can choose Landscape. You can also scale your chart so that you can fit it all on one page and click Print. 
Make sure that you've got landscape selected if you've chosen landscape on the previous page. And from here, you can either print your Gantt or save it as a PDF. The drag and drop functionality will allow you to shift your project by simply dragging your milestones or your tasks and dropping them in place. Once the page refreshes, you can see that the project has shifted for you. You can optionally view your project Gantt chart by day, week, month, or quarter. And you can also see any successor predecessor dependencies that you've got in place. One of the really cool things about having your project management in Salesforce is the ability to use Chatter. Your teams can collaborate very easily on the projects, share updates, and share files. Milestones PM Plus also gives you the ability to track any risks or issues associated to the project. If we want to create a new risk, just click New, give your risk a name, select a category, enter a description, and enter any mitigation or contingency plans that you need to have in place. If any issues do arise during your project, you can simply click New and enter all of the details about the issue that was encountered. You can customize the sort order of the items on your Gantt chart, as well as with the Premium Edition, optionally add a resource column on the Gantt chart as well. If you would like to customize your Gantt chart, go to Setup, type in Custom Settings, Select Manage next to Milestone 1 settings, where you can easily customize the sort order of your tasks or milestones. Decide whether or not you would like to display tasks on your program Gantt chart. Select to show the resource on the Gantt chart. Optionally select to show durations on your Gantt, as well as many other options. Now let's take a look at our project tasks. When you're using Lightning, you can either view your project tasks in a grid view, or if you prefer, you can view them in Kanban. Let's drill into one of the tasks. On a project task detail page, keep in mind that you can customize this with any custom fields that you need or any fields that we've included as part of the managed package. You've got the ability to set up predecessor, successor dependencies, enter descriptions, change your stage. Now some cool features that are here are the ability to sync to Salesforce tasks or Salesforce events. This is a premium edition feature. When you're syncing your project task to either a Salesforce task or event, and you go to your home page and view your calendar, you can see your Milestones PM Plus project tasks right along with any other Salesforce tasks or events. This will help keep your teams better organized and allow them to work more efficiently throughout the day, seeing everything they need to accomplish all in one place. Back on our project task, one important note if you're creating a project template, make sure that you set up your sync to if you would like to sync to a Salesforce task or event each time a new project is created. Otherwise, users will manually need to sync their tasks. Milestones PM Plus Premium Edition also comes with the ability to set up alerts and notifications. You can notify users, for instance, if a predecessor task is complete, it's time to begin the successor or a new task has been assigned to them. The resource that your project task is assigned to shows you who's accountable for the task. To add new resources, simply go to the Resource tab and click New. Milestones PM Plus Free Edition, you can assign any user within your CRM to be available as a resource for your project tasks. Milestones PM Plus Premium Edition, you can assign any user or any contact within your CRM as available to be a resource for your project tasks. Now going back to our task, if we would like to change the resource, we can select from a list of anyone who we have set up to be a resource for our project tasks. Going back to our project, we can see that the resource has been updated. In the Premium Edition, being able to use contacts gives you better visibility into whether you have a contractor or your customer are causing delays on the project. Back on our project task, if we click on Related, We've got the ability to track expenses against any project tasks by simply clicking New. And in the free edition, you can also log time against your project tasks by clicking New on Times. I have customized this in this org. I've added a checkbox for billable that a user can manually check. I've also added a formula field to help identify whether time was billable or not so that I can roll up billable versus non-billable time to get a better overall picture on how we're doing with our time against our projects. Milestones PM Plus Premium Edition includes a time entry grid where you can log time against any object in Salesforce. 
Here we're logging time against project tasks. Any list views that you have created for your project tasks will show up here. Users can easily enter their time as they go throughout the week. You can see that the app will subtotal their hours as they go so they can ensure that they are logging all of their hours and you can use the hour totals to keep track of over or under usage of your resources. All of the time that a user logs against any object or list view will appear in the grand total for the week. We have an approval process built in. At the end of the week the user would simply submit their time for approval. A manager can easily go to time entry approval, select the weeks that they have time submitted for, and approve or deny time. Milestones PM Plus also comes with a summary tab that displays all of the projects that you have within your Salesforce org. If you'd like to search for a specific project, you simply type in the search. There are a couple of different ways that you can automate your project creation process. If, for example, you would like to create a project automatically when an opportunity is marked closed one or reaches a certain stage, we have Trigger available that you can easily copy and paste to add that option and we'll take a look at that here in a second. What we have set up here is a pick list that a user can simply select the type of project that they need to create and save the opportunity. Once the opportunity saves, you'll be able to see that a new project has been created based on the template that they selected with all of the milestones and tasks already in place. The other option, if you have the premium edition of Milestones PM Plus, is to simply add a button to create a project from the opportunity. This will bring you to your folders where you can select the type of project you'd like to create and click import. If you wanted to use the option with the trigger in the pick list, you can go to getting started, click on our admin guide, select automatic project creation, and we have a trigger included with directions that all you have to do is copy and paste basically into your dev console and make sure that you change your field API names for your object names. As you can see here, we've chosen to relate our projects to opportunities and accounts. Because Milestones PM Plus resides within Salesforce, you can use Salesforce reports to report on any aspect of your projects. We have a couple of cool add-ons for Milestones PM Plus. Lookup Helper automatically populates lookup fields for you in Salesforce, making it easier for you to relate your projects to other objects. So if you wanted to see all of your projects within a certain state or territory or industry, you can use Lookup Helper to relate those objects together. Rollup Helper is another add-on. It's another app by passage technology. Allows you to aggregate any data or roll any data up even using a lookup relationship. So if you wanted to roll up hour totals or customize any type of date logic, you can use Rollup Helper. Using the two add-on apps, Rollup Helper and Lookup Helper, also will help you with your reporting. If you join all of your information together onto one object, it makes it a lot easier to run straightforward reports. If you have any questions, please email sales at passagetech.com. Thank you for watching.